KTOKO Sports. We are here at Piqua High School to bring you high school boys tournament action for the Fort Army Redskins take on the Riverside Pirates. Tonight's game is sponsored by Minster Bank, Schwerdman Pharmacy, Keyhole Pizza, New Knoxville Supply, Minster Dental Care, Hometown Opportunity, Francis Furniture, Wilson Helm, Precision Strip, Winners Meets, NK Telco, NKT.TV, BowlerStore.com, Carriage Works, Cy Schruderman, Fowler's TV, Kogi Plumbing and Heating, PSG Automotive Outfitters, and First National Bank. Our fine sponsors here tonight at Piqua High School, along with Ron Kersey, I'm Dave Kanapke. Fort Army 16 and 7, Riverside 8 and 13. Yeah, the number seed, number nine seed, Riverside, comes into tonight's game off a three game losing streak at the hands of Indian Lake, Upper Soda Valley, and Jackson Center. The Pirates are led by 6'1 senior Lane Willoughby, averaging 13.6 points and 8.8 rebounds a game. Willoughby is on the first team All Northwest Central Conference team. For Fort Warming, number two seed Fort Warming got here by defeating number 11 seed Covington, 73 to 47. Redskins are led in scoring by 6'1 senior Eli Rosengarten. Averaging 12 points a game and 6'4 senior Nathan Ratterman, who averages 9.1 points a game and 5.2 rebounds a game. So number two seed against the number nine seed. And Ron, let's talk about our keys to the game brought to you by Keyhole Pizza. Yeah, for Riverside Pirates, the number one key is they need to handle the press. Riverside must handle the Redskins 2-2-1 press. Fort Lormy forces 16 turnovers a game. The second key is defend the three. Fort Lormy averages 37% from the three-point line. And for the Fort Lormy Redskins, the first key is rebound battle. Riverside averages 26.4 rebounds a game, while Lormy averages 23.7. The second key for Lormy turns steals into points. The Redskins average nine steals a game, and they must turn those into points. Again, those are your keys to the game, brought to you by Keyhole Pizza. We are underway. The tip is controlled by the Riverside Pirates, 8 and 13. Coached by Seth Bodenmiller in his first year. And Lormy starts out in a man-to-man -man defense. Shot up and in by Lane Willoughby. He's their leading scorer that Ron mentioned at almost 14 a game. A little full court pressure here, man to man. Rosengarten with the basketball. Senior gives it up to Jake Ratterman. Now Carter Mesher has been back after injury. He's been back the last seven games. Ratterman, Rosengarten trying to work through a few screens. There's a foul underneath. Nathan Ratterman underneath there. Starters tonight, Jake Ratterman, Carter Mesher, 33, Eli Rosengarten, 35, Nathan Ratterman, number 40, Mason Kemper. Nick Brandaway has been out of line the last two games. Rebound by Kemper, not able to follow. Riverside basketball, and they turn it over there. Schumbaum with the turnover. Fort Larmy started out the season three and four, and then they won six straight. They've had a very good season, Ron. Yes, they have. They got better as the season goes on. And as a coach, that's what you want to happen. You know, you want the kids to come off the football season and the cross country season and so forth, start out consistently and get better as each game goes by. And, uh, we had them against Bodkins in that thriller. Uh, Bodkins won that on a half-court shot, and it seemed like every game after that, Lormy got better. Yeah, that, that was as Rosengard makes the first of two. They were three and four at that point, but after that they won six straight, started by a double overtime win over Rushi, and 
It took them a little while as Rosengard hit. They lost a lot of good players off that regional final team from last year. Yeah, both Siegel boys were gone, and they were a big part of the game, especially on the inside. Find and it. Go ahead. Uh, I was just going to mention the guy on the outside, and I can't think of his name Kevin right now. Kevin Braun and yeah, Kevin Burning. Yeah, Braun and Burning. Those guys could shoot the basketball. Foul on Mason Kemper. It's Willoughby Drove. Two to two here, 6.32. The winner of this game will play Anzonia, who won in a game-winning shot by Hunter Murr, a buzzer beater. They're the number five seed. Number two versus nine here. Underneath Riverside puts up a shot. That shot by Knight it was long. And it seemed like that team they had last year was around a long time. Uh, obviously, they can only be there four years, but uh, a couple of those guys were four-year starters. Yep. Fort Army's won four in a row. Knocked away, but out of bounds. A good hustle there by Schoenbaum. Fort Lauderdale's won four in a row. Their last win, they advanced to this game by beating Covington on Friday night, 73-47. They were raining threes in that night, 11 threes. Had a big 24-7 second quarter to win going away. And they can shoot the three, 37% on the season. That compares to 26% on the season for Riverside. Riverside comes in averaging 50 points a game, and so does Lormy. So offensively, uh, total point-wise, they're even. And Nick Brandwe into the game, the junior who's been out the last two games. Second team, All Shell County League. Good to see him back on the floor as the Redskins on the attack. So that's knocked out of bounds. So Brandwe will inbound it. I think Brandon, he's a, a three-year starter now as a junior. He started games when he was a freshman. He's definitely on varsity all three years, so. Nice pass to Kemper, a no-look right. pass and blocked. Nice job defensively there by Kyle Knight, a 6'1 senior. So there's Offlick with the basketball. Wyatt Offlick, there's two of them on the team. Zumberger to Offlip, thought about a three. Worked off the screen. Tried to draw the charge there for Fort Larmy. It's Carter Mesher. Need a second foul on Fort Larmy. We've already had five fouls before these between these two teams as Grant Albers checks in the lineup for Fort Larmy, number 30. The 6'2 sophomore. Good mix of seniors and also some youth on this Fort Army team. Yeah, pretty well divided. Mason Kemp goes out. Offlick drives. That will be knocked out of bounds. So it will go off of Riverside. It will be Fort Army basketball. And the referees are going to converge, and uh, I have a feeling they may change that. They they will. Will. Usually when that happens, it's one of the refs saw it, obviously the other way, and that's good officiating there. Oh yeah, anything to get it right. Just don't come here and ask for a review. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like to come to on monitor sometimes. And Willoughby with the basketball. In the corner, there's a three by Zumberger. Kyle Zumberger, John Zumberger with the throw. A 46% three-point shooter. Gives the lead to Riverside, five to two. Three-pointer hit there by Mesher. Mesher doesn't take very many threes. A one of six so far this season. So that's only his second one. Mesher had a great baseball season, and there'll be a 10-second count against Riverside. Yeah, he was across the line, and he came back to receive it, and that got him in trouble. Well, Army coming off a state championship in baseball, and then a 
Final Four in football. Trying to make some noise in basketball as the number two seed here. Three off the mark by Nathan Rademan, rebounded by the Pirates. Pirates in white, trimmed by red and blue. The Redskins in their black uniforms, trimmed by red. Yeah. That good play there by Mesher. Yeah, Mesher knocked the ball off of Offlick's leg. Into the game, number 34, Nolan Burning, 5'10 sophomore. He will bring up the ball. Coach Corey Britton in his fifth year, won over 100 wins earlier this season. Burning drives Ratterman. Rosengarden. Now Brandaway. Shot too strong. There by Albers. Burning with the tray. Rebound Riverside. So Fort Lomi starts off a little cold from the floor. Five to five to five or halfway through this first quarter. They got some pretty good looks at possession. Zumberger will hit the three, gives it up to Offlick. Back to Zumberger. Willoughby trying to get open. Hands it off to Wallflick. They run a pretty similar offense as Fort Lomi does. Wallflick gives it up. Shot made by Kyle Knight. Knight averages in double figures for the 6 1 senior, and they take the lead 7 5. Burning gives up to Ratterman. Under three minutes to go. Rosencarden gives it up to Albers. Randaway tries to drive to the hoop. Rolls off. Rebound. Dribbles goes off a Fort Larney foot. And will go to Riverside. Nate Meyer into the ball game. 32 Nate Meyer into the game. Also number 40 Mason Kepper checking back in. Ratterman and Albers both come out. Full core pressure looks man to man. Brandu will guard Offlick. Beats him down underneath its night. Through traffic, he'll draw the foul. He was kind of caught in no man's land there and decided to take the ball to the basket. Fortunately for him, he got bailed out with a foul. Kyle Knight was honorable mention in the NWCC where they were six, three and five. So he hits the first. The NWCC was won by Perry, who has a very good team this year. Eight and oh, upper side of Alley, seven and three. And then Lehman were five and three, were the top three in the league. Also, Willoughby, as Ron mentioned, his first team, all NWCC, as well as Schumbaum. As Knight hits a pair. Nine to five, Riverside over Fort Larmy on our first National Bank scoreboard. First National Bank, think first. Larmy not able to really find the rhythm so far. Rosengarden to the hoop, nice move. That time he just squared up and took the baseline move. Nobody there for Riverside from the weak side to help. That's the lead to two. Shot by Sh Zumberger off the mark. Rosengarden comes up, but gives it to Bernie. Down low, Kemper, and in. Well, he knows what to do with it when he gets it down there. 6-3 senior ties up the game at 9-9. Coach Bodenmiller with a timeout for Riverside. Full timeout. You're watching tournament basketball on NK Toco Sports. Hey, sexy. Hoagie Plumbing and Heating is your Bryant Factory authorized dealer. We have brought the best of comfort, control, and plumbing services to the St. Mary's area for over 60 years. We have been Reader's Choice winners for the last four years running and excel at providing our customers with efficient and reliable heating and air conditioning as well as responsive service when a plumbing emergency arises. We insist that the products we install in our customers' homes and businesses offer the same performance and value that we expect ourselves. Call today for your next plumbing and heating or air conditioning needs. Bryant, whatever it takes. 
I'm Mallory. My grandpa's been making the world's worst pizza for 30 years. That doesn't look like the world's worst pizza. Grandpa, I know why they call you Chunky Bob. It's because you use chunky ingredients on your pizza. Of course, it's not because I'm fat. Grandpa, this is the world's best pizza. Keyhole Pizza, come check Grandpa out. Dine in or carry out. All tied at nines here at 1.36 to go first quarter. This sectional ball game, will, winner of this game will be in the final on Friday against Anzonia, who won on a buzzer beater over Bakkins. Willoughby gives it up to Knight. Zumberger with the tray, that is off the mark. Nice box out there by Nate Meyer, draws a foul. That was a good defensive possession there by Lormy, almost forced to turnover. Gave up the three point shot and then a good job on boxing out to get the rebound. The well, Army has scored in their last two possessions. So work around the perimeter. Ratterman, now Rosengarten. All the way over to Bernie. Coming up on a minute to go, first quarter. Into the corner, Nate Meyer gives it up or loses it. Chased down there by Ratterman. Nice ball movement by the Redskins. Look around the perimeter, it's Rosengarten. Down low, reverse layup there by Ratterman. Ball on the floor, it looks like we'll have a jump ball. Possession arrow stays with the Redskins. Carter Mesher and Nick Brandewey, 23 and 11, come in for Rosengarten and Bernie. Mesher will inbound it, the 5'11 senior. That's something that I think the Lormy depth might play an important part of this ball game. They're running them in and out where I think Riverside playing seven people. A lot of interchangeable parts, too. Yeah. A lot of positions. Shot off the mark there by Mesher. Come up to 15 seconds. Heath almost lost it. We'll give it to Zumberger. Looks like they're going for the last shot. We're down to 10 seconds. Try to do a trap here. Underneath, they kick it out. Zumberger with another tray rolls off. We'll have a foul on the floor against Fort Larmy. There was some wicked boxing out there. Boy, from this angle, it looked like he got pulled down. Okay, oh, they did. he did. I thought he. I thought he was I, pointing. It was staying on this side. Yeah. I was gonna say because I think it was Kemper. He had inside position. Yeah. It looked like he got pulled down. And that foul was on Willoughby. That's the second foul in their leading score. So 2.2 in the quarter. Kemper, Brandaway, not able to bank it home. We play one quarter basketball this sectional tournament. We are all tied nine to nine. We'll be right back. At Minster Bank, we understand that life can get hectic. That's why when it comes to your banking, we offer the services that make your life simpler with tools like person-to-person -person payments, pop money, mobile and online banking, and bill pay. But most of all, Minster Bank is a supportive member of your community with personal relationships and customer service that reach outside of our branches. Minster Bank, helping people achieve financial success. Here's the thing. If you're the kind of guy who eats, sleeps, and breathes farming, who gets up at dawn, determined to get the best crop and the best yield, why surrender to the mercy of the water table? Cy Schwiedemann Incorporated can lower your water table to an average of two to three feet below the surface, allowing you to grow stronger, healthier plants that root deeper, that are more resilient to the elements, that enable longer growing seasons, and can produce higher results in the fields and in your pocket. Trust CSI, your drainage expert since 1946. On our first National Bank scoreboard after one, it's nine to nine. And the stats reflect that, Ron. Yeah, it does. Three of 12 for Lormy from the field. Three of seven for Riverside. Rebounding battle, seven for Lormy, six for Riverside. 
pretty even numbers, and thus the score is even nine to nine. And down in it there, Riverside Zumberger has taken a lot of threes so far. Normie comes in the game shooting 46% from the field in that first quarter, uh, just 25%. 46% field goals, that's very good on the season. It sure is. Usually you see them more around 40. Yeah, if you see a team shoot 50%, you're yeah. pretty sure they won the game. Yeah. <laughs> that's almost stolen away. Radderman with the basketball to Rosengarten. Nine to nine. Just getting started here in the second quarter. And you can see why their shooting percentage is pretty high the way they move the ball around and uh, they just haven't got into their offense very well here so far in this game. Yeah, they're very patient. Yep. They, uh, they do a lot of slipping the screens we call it. Uh, you go up to set the screen but you don't and you just slip the screen to the basket and they, they get some backdoor plays that way. Some nice easy layups. Brandaway with the layup off the turnover. After Riverside had a slip on their side at yes, half court. Schlumbaum gives it up to Offlick. Riverside now by one, down by two here. Willoughby playing with two fouls. Gives it up tonight. Nice pass, nice cut. Nice little back door play there by Riverside. The defender got caught on the wrong side. Green Alvarez comes in for Nathan Ratterman. Sophomore in for a senior. 6.32 to go. We're tied at 11 11. Grandaway. Rosengarten thought about a three. Drive by Meyer, too strong. Rebound Willoughby. Once again, Fort Army does a good job of beating the outside defender, taking through the basket, but they didn't get the foul or the bucket. Schoenblum, Willoughby, swatted away there by Grant Albers. Yeah. Offlet came up with it, but I think he turned it over yep. and threw it in the backcourt. Good job there by Offlick, and he was just trying to find a teammate and didn't think about that. Albers did a nice job there swatting the ball away without committing the foul. A lot of times when you see their hand come down, they're going to get a foul called on him, but he got all ball. Bernie knocks open the wide open three. And Bernie comes in. He shoots 41% from the three point line. 16 of 39. Six different Redskins have had 10 or more three pointers on the season. There's Knight underneath, but he traveled. Yeah, he needed a power dribble there to get the ball up against two people. Mason Kemper checks back in the lineup. See if the Redskins then extend their three point lead. Burning on the wing. Albers. Rosengard back to Albers. Tries to reverse layup. Tough shot there between two defenders. A lot of traffic there to go reverse it on the other side of the rim. Off look for the three. Long rebound. Battles around. <laughs> Riverside did a heck of a job keeping that alive, and Willoughby finishes. Yeah, you really can't blame that on the defense. Everybody's going after the basketball and it just happened to bounce Riverside's way. Riverside able to tip it just a couple times. They cut the lead to one, 14 to 13, Fort Larmy on our first National Bank scoreboard. Yeah. They set that screen there. Exactly. Mason Kemper off the window. Mason Kemper with the basket. Extend the lead to 16 to 13. Willoughby 
Crossover dribble. Nice tie up there by Brandeweek. Helped with the double team and <laughs> grabbed the ball. <laughs> he rifled that ball to the to the official, went right over his head, couldn't catch it. He looked at it, wondered where that came from. <laughs> He just fortunate one one foot lower. Well, Larmy's won at sectional here the last three years, trying to make it four years in a row. They'd have to win tonight and then also beat Anzonio on Friday to make it to UD. Three off the mark there by Ratterman. Offensive rebound, Rosengarten. Third chance here. Bernie passing underneath to Albers. He'll have to kick it out with Bernie from the wing. In and out, so no third time the charm there for the Redskins. Well, Bernie did a nice job there all the way around, just couldn't make the basket. Knight, Schoenblom. There's Knight again underneath. And one. So it hangs on and rolls in. Second time he's done the cut underneath and Willoughby's found him. A couple of nice passes there to get that basket. So Kyle Knight already with eight points on the night. No pun intended. And he has a chance for the three point play. In Fort Lormy's possession, Bernie made a nice drive in the middle with a dish off and didn't get anything out of it. And that time Riverside pretty much does the same thing. Gets the bucket. Lonnie still with a one point lead. Work around the perimeter now, Rosengarten off the screen. Down to Kemper, back to Rosengarten. Off the mark. Army just can't buy a bucket tonight so far. Offlick with the corner three. Well, tipped off of about three hands for Fort Army. It'll stay with Riverside. Yeah, it just isn't bouncing the Redskins way. And quite frankly, usually uh, this is in the second quarter. It usually balances out and goes the other way sometime during the game. You can't say they're playing bad, they're shooting bad. They're taking the right shots, and they're playing good defense, and then Ratterman came up with the board. Long pass ahead to Kemper, in. Yeah, sometimes you see, since they've already had a tournament game, you would think they would come out just a little bit more relaxed than Riverside, who had the bye. This is their first game. Yeah, Riverside has not played since February 16th. That's 10 days ago. That's why a lot of the, at this, the Southwest sectional, the better teams take a game because otherwise it's too long of a break. Right, because you're looking at, uh, you know, Fort Warming with a two seed. They're going to play a high seeded team for the first game. And they can use that. I don't want to say that's practice. And there's a nice, uh, nice cut back door, but the pass didn't get there. And off look was there. Riverside trails Fort Army by three, 18 to 15, under two minutes to go in the half. A very evenly played first half of basketball. Number two seed Larmy against the number nine seed Riverside. Offlick. And the more of what they call the so called super sectionals that they have, the more you see that teams uh, with a lower seed play in the first game. Yep. Shot off the mark there by Knight. Rosengarten trying to find a spot. Pass to Bernie. Rosengarten will drive. Try all the way in the corner to Mesher. All the way back to Rosengarten, and he steps out of bounds. Tough pass there. Yeah, just a little sloppy. Didn't really have to do that. John Zilberger in the lineup. and Nate Meyer into the game for Coach Britton. Tries to find the right combination on his deep bench. Right 
Right now, Fort Laramie in the lead. Not able to shake Riverside. Just a three-point lead as Wyatt Offlick, senior guard, walks it across for the Riverside Pirates. There's a tip. And it looks like it went off of Riverside. Good defense there by Grant Meyer. I'm sorry, by Nate Meyer. Yeah, he got a deflection there, and it turned out he's going to get the basketball also. 30 seconds before halftime, Redskins try to extend that three point lead. Underneath Kemper, off the glass. Boy, he's strong underneath, left handed. Kemper with eight. Lead at five. Down to eight seconds. Schoenblom into the corner, Zumberger. All the way are off with two seconds, a long three, and he oh, drains it. Wyatt, Wyatt Offlick hits a big three, cuts the lead as we go into halftime on the first National Bank scoreboard for Army 20, Riverside 18. We'll come back with our first half numbers here on NK Telco Sports. At CAPT, we use hometown opportunity to make sure that when we have a position open within the facility, it gets put on the website. We've really been excited to see how that has grown so much over the last several years. If anyone is looking for a job, it's the, it's the best place to go. We really want to do whatever we can to get folks that are from this community back to this area. I would recommend any manufacturing company that they take a look at it. It's a very good benefit for companies at no cost. Schwiedemann Pharmacies began serving the people of Auglaise County in 1916 when Urban Schwiedemann purchased the building and business from J.H. Hoffman. The New Bremen location is one of the longest running pharmacies in the country, with over 110 years of serving its patrons. Since then, four more stores have been added, Coldwater, St. Mary's, Minster, and Wapakoneta to round out the group. Our services include prescription refills, home medical equipment, nursing home services, customized compounded medication, vaccinations, and so much more. New Knoxville Supply Company, the supply source for residential, commercial, and industrial jobs. We specialize in plumbing products from many name brands, electrical products from replacing a light switch to rewiring an entire house, heating, air conditioning, and geothermal products, sheet metal ductwork, installations, and service. We are now housing more inventory so all the hardware items you need to complete the job are available right away. New Knoxville Supply. Stop in, call, or check us out online at newknoxvillesupply.com. We're at halftime here at Garbury Gymnasium at Piquas High School. On our first National Bank scoreboard, Fort Army leads Riverside 20 to 19 with the first half numbers, Mr. Ron Kersey. For Fort Army Redskins, 8 to 23 from the field, that's 34.8%. For Riverside, 7 to 16 from the field for 43.8%. Three point land, two of nine for the Redskins, two of seven for the Pirates. And free throw line two of two for the Redskins, two of three for Riverside. The rebounding battle went to Riverside 13 to 12. Three turnovers for Fort Ormy, 10 turnovers for Riverside. So that could play big uh, here in the second half because, like we said before, Lormy's playing nine players, whereas Riverside, there's seven deep. So pretty soon, you know, sooner or later, the number of players and the depth takes over, especially when you play defense uh, like Normie does. Leading. And it wears on the offense. Leading scores, Mason Kemper with eight for Fort Larmy, Kyle Knight with eight. Not a lot of foul trouble. Only player with two for Fort Larmy is Carter Mesher for Riverside. Cameron Schoenblom with two, and also Lane Willoughby, their leading scorer. He played with two about the whole first half. Now, one thing we haven't seen a whole lot of, Lormy averages, uh, I think it's seven steals a game, and we haven't seen that uh, turned into points. So uh, we kind of look for that here in the second half, and they're coming out trying to trap on the outside, and that's to get the, the uh, tempo up. A little faster tempo uh, would be in favor of Lormy. Second foul on Mason Kemper. 
Start the second half. Off lick. Gives it up to Schlumbaum. It's honorable mention. Shoots 42 threes on the year, but he hasn't been shot near as many as Zumberger. Shot off the mark there. There by 33, Wade off lick. Rosengarten to Kemper. Kicks it to Brandewee. Brandewee getting the start in the second half, and Kemper, a great block by Willoughby. Rosengarten will drive, tries to pass it, is fouled. Even though uh, Kemper got that block, it was a nice job there. He kicked it back out, and then they, he reposted and got it back. And Riverside just came up with a nice defensive play to really block the shot. Starting the second half, Brandewee, Ratterman, Mesher, both Rattermans, Jake and Nathan, and also Rosengarten. Rosengarten shot is a long one, so another chance for the Redskins. Now we've seen the ball bounce uh, Fort Lormie's way, both on the defensive rebound and here on the offensive end. Brandewee pull up short. I think they're going to get, yeah, let's see if they, is it going to be a foul to be on Riverside? And they're going to give him two shots. Does it look where, in their opinion, Kemper was getting the rebound and putting a shot up. So, I was afraid they were going to call a foul there. That would have been his third. Kemper, just a 52% free throw shooter, 16 to 31 on the season. Didn't look like that on that shot. That was a nice rotation on the basketball, nice follow through. One of the key pitchers on their state tournament run in baseball. Splits the pair, a three point lead for Fort Lormie, 21 to 18. Then the trapping full court pressure from Riverside has no problem with it. A little bit of contact underneath there. Kyle Knight shot is blocked. Three pointer off lick rims out. I think pass the, ahead. Yeah, the contact was Branda Wee. Nathan Ratterman. And Willoughby got into it a little bit. Able to get his own rebound. Brandy gives it up to Rosengarden. Ratterman to Kemper. Brandewee with the tray. Once again, you see the ball go inside. And Kemper kicked it back out to Brandewee where he can just step right into the shot. And that's where the threes come from. Timeout Riverside, 30 second timeout. We'd like to thank our sponsors for making this telecast possible. Wilson Health, Precision Strip, NKT.TV, BowlerStore.com, Carriage Works, find the BowlerStore.com, find the pocket without emptying yours. Carriage Works, specializing in collision repair in San Antonio, Ohio. Cy Spruderman, Fowler's TV, where service what we sell. Kogi Plumbing and Heating, a name you know, a name we trust. PSG Automotive Outfitters. Minster Bank Financial Solutions for a Lifetime. Shrewman Pharmacies, located in Salina, Coldwater, Minster, New Bremen, St. Mary's, and Walker, Canada. New Knoxville Supply, Minster Dental Care, Francis Furniture. Keys the Game Sponsor, Keyhole Pizza. We'll have a player of the game sponsor, NK Telco. School Board Sponsors, First National Bank. And while we're at it, we'd like to thank Matt Zerker, who's really helping us out here. He provides all the stats to all the media here. He he, yeah, he makes our job easier, my job. <laughs> he makes a, he does a great job, to, not just tonight, he runs the MattZerker.com, the Shelby County League website. Yeah, if you so, want to know the scores and the schedules, get on that. He's got a lot of leagues on there, a lot of conferences, uh, the Shelby County Athletic Conference, the uh, MAC, the CCC, the GWAC. Uh, there's a lot of things, a lot of information on his website. And that's MattZerker.com, also Shelby County League website, that's SCALsports.com. Underneath, that's off the mark there by Heath. For Larmy pushing ahead, Rosengarten to the hoop, that's knocked out of bounds, it will stay with Larmy. I tell you, just get the feeling here, Dave, that uh, Riverside has got to hang on right here. This is a pretty important time of the game. It seems like Larmy's getting their offense together and uh, they, for Riverside, they need to keep the score tight. Great pass by Brandaway. 
to Rosengarten who finishes now an eight point lead for Larmy. A 6 0 run for Larmy. Offlick with the tray. Boy, he hit that at the right time. Wyatt Offlick. Only a 14 percent three, uh, three point shooter. Using a boxing analogy, you feel like Riverside's on the ropes right now and they're woozy. But Larmy trying to knock him out. That was a big three. Rosengarten drives, kisses off the glass. Yeah, they weren't getting those shots like that in the first half. Rosengarten now with eight. Off lick. Gives it up. There's a long three yeah. by Zumberger. So Riverside answers two straight possessions with threes. Ratterman to Mesher. Halfway through this third quarter. Brandon Weaver or Rosengarden. Looking around the perimeter. Mesher will let the three go. Zumberger comes up with the rebound. Fancy dribbling off the rebound. There's Wade Offlick to Wyatt Offlick. Junior and senior. Now to Zumberger. Drives to the hoop. Can't finish. Rebound to the, to the Redskins. Lorman like to get the ball out and, and run with it. There's an open shot. Great assist for Brandaway as Kepler's now in double figures with 11. 34, sorry, 30 to 24. Fort Larmy. So they've had a good start in the first five minutes of this third quarter, tearing 10. They had 20 at halftime. All flick. Willoughby's going to check into the next dead ball, and there is a turnover by Offlick. Yeah, he took off without putting it on the floor first. They're going to call that every time. Carter Mesher and Burning into the game. Schumblom and also Willoughby, two of their bigger scores, their two double figure scores. In for the Pirates is burning around the offense. One, two, two set this time by the Redskins. Changing up the offense a little bit, looking to post people up on the block. Bernie goes all the way over to Mesher. Burning is tied up there. Nolan draws the foul. Burning it doesn't seem to have any problem in catching the ball on the three point line and beating his man, beating him off the dribble. Draws the fourth foul on Schumann as he leaves. Burning to trigger it in. All the way to Mesher. To the hoop, loses control. Tried to go through there. I think there was a little contact or he <laughs> lost the ball and uh, he, he lost the hard, handle. Yeah, you have a hard time believing he's going to drive the bucket and throw it against the wall. I, <laughs> <laughs> something caused that. Riverside oh. on the attack. Fort Army had it up to eight. Riverside hit a couple threes. Willoughby. Yeah, those two threes are their only points here in the third quarter. Off like a step back, long two. Burning, pushing the tempo, taking it all the way. Too strong, there's Kemper, and Offlick with a block. Tipped away, Kemper gets it back, and a whistle. We'll see which way it is if it's They're on. They're gonna call it on Fort Ormy. They call it on Kemper. He shakes his head as he draws his third foul. <laughs> that was good hustle by Kemper. Just got caught there. The guy going the opposite way, and Kemper got the call. 
Official called it right away. A couple sophomores in, Albers and Meyer in for the Redskins, and it'll have a travel on Heath of the Riverside. And once again, Lormy with a six point lead have a chance to extend this. Clearly the favorite here tonight at the two seed at 16 wins compared to the nine seeded Pirates. Shot does not fall, but it goes off of Riverside. So another chance for Fort Larmy. Fort Larmy 16 and seven, Riverside eight and 13. Riverside's lost their last three games. Last losses to Jackson Center. Fort Larmy's won their last four in a row. Rosengarden, that shot was partially blocked. And we go the other way. Offlick loses his footing. Albers. That's goaltending. Goal tending. Even Willoughby agrees on that. He was trailing Grant Albers. And He's been watching some TV, hasn't he? <laughs> he, was, he was timing that out, but he got there a little too late. Albers did a nice job of shielding it until all you could do was gold 10 there. Jake Ratterman, 21 in the game. Here we're seeing the 2 2 1 half court press. As you say, they haven't really been able to get any steals yeah. so far. There's Trap there, and Coach Bodenmiller. With the timeout. A 30 second timeout. 30 second timeout. We'd like to mention if you missed the first replay, that was Wednesday, February 27th at 9 p.m. The second replay is Thursday, February 28th at 7. You can watch all, you can watch the games on WSN and on demand on NK Telco Sports Facebook page and nktelco.net on demand as we will put all our tournament games up there as quickly as possible. Otherwise, you can check them out on. Channel 3 are also an HDM 503. There's a lot of good tournament games we're going to cover. We're going to have the girls district at Walpock. We'll cover the Fort Army boys if they win here. On Friday, we'll also cover them if they get to UD as well. And we'll follow as many NK Telco teams as we can. Can't get to all of them, but we try. And we hope you enjoy it. 40 seconds to go before the quarter break. Fort Army. Match their biggest lead of eight, 32-24. Offlick, Willoughby drives baseline. Nice D by Albers. Warmy is going to go for the last shot here in the third quarter. Bernie looks over to Coach Britton. Six signals. Meyer. Gives it up to Mesher. Down to four seconds. Ooh. And there is a foul. That's an intentional foul he's calling. So Mesher was knocked to the ground as the officials are going to talk about that. I think he was setting a screen and Willoughby didn't see it. That'll be an intentional. The official said he'd come with his elbow. Yeah, it's it doesn't always necessarily it's intentional. It's it's if you the last couple years they had if you go with the elbow or you hit high player safety it'll be like an intentional as Mesher will get to shoot the two foul shots as he was the foul E if you will. It's so, the first so they get two shots and the basketball. Mesher coming off an injury in football season just played the last seven games. Splits a pair there. And Fort Army will keep the ball with 2.5 seconds to go in the quarter break. Fort Army comes in with four new players. Line change. Kemper, Nathan Ratterman, Rosengarden, Brandewe. In to join Jake Ratterman with 2.5 seconds. Brandewe looking for a teammate. Rosengarden, corner three. And that will end the third quarter of basketball. Pick with sectional on our first National Bank scoreboard. Larby by nine. We'll be right back. 
Schwiedemann Pharmacies began serving the people of Auglaes County in 1916 when Urban Schwiedemann purchased the building and business from J.H. Hoffman. The New Bremen location is one of the longest running pharmacies in the country, with over 110 years of serving its patrons. Since then, four more stores have been added, Coldwater, St. Mary's, Minster, and Wapakoneta to round out the group. Our services include prescription refills, home medical equipment, nursing home services, customized compounded medication, vaccinations, and so much more. New Knoxville Supply Company, the supply source for residential, commercial, and industrial jobs. We specialize in plumbing products from many name brands, electrical products from replacing a light switch to rewiring an entire house, heating, air conditioning, and geothermal products, sheet metal ductwork, installations, and service. We are now housing more inventory so all the hardware items you need to complete the job are available right away. New Knoxville Supply. Stop in, call, or check us out online at newknoxvillesupply.com. 33-24 on our first National Bank scoreboard in favor of the Fort Laramie Redskins. Yeah, a couple of numbers that are big. 26 rebounds for Fort Laramie, 16 for Riverside, 13 turnovers for Riverside to only four for Fort Laramie. Mason Kemper draws the foul. Senior will be shooting two. Mason Kemper for two. Kemper leads. All scores with 11 as he hits the first. Also Eli Rosengarten with eight, Kyle Knight with eight, Zumber and Offlick with six for the Pirates. Boy, he just doesn't look like a 52% a free throw shooter to me. He might have changed his technique or something. He looks pretty, looks more like in the 60s or 70s with that stroke. And there's a steal. Yep, there's that 2-2-1. Two, two, Jake Ratterman. Larmy trying to extend this lead. In and out. Here by Brandewee. And now you see the ball going Fort Larmy's way again. You know, that's just not luck now. That's pure hustle on the Redskins. Brandewee cashes in on what was the 14th offensive rebound for Fort Army. You're right, they worked yep. for that rebound, and there is a steal. Yep. Four on one. Brandaway, yes. Oh, that's a pretty play right there. Three on one, and nice pass. Nine look pass. Timeout on the floor. We'll be right back on NK Telco Sports. K Telco Sports. More than 140 local high school and college games. Football, basketball, volleyball, baseball, softball, and soccer. Support your local team with NK Telco Sports and promote your business to 250,000 households in Northwest Ohio. Call 1 888 NK Telco and get in the game. At First National Bank, we are working hard to make your life a little easier. With products like Card Valet, an app allowing you to control your cards with real-time notifications, transaction restrictions, and spending limits. The ability to access your money through 55,000 all-point ATMs across the country, surcharge free. Live customer support when you need it. And online and mobile banking, allowing you to gain access to your financial information wherever and whenever you like. First National Bank, making your life a little easier. Fort Army starting to stretch out the lead, now leading 40 to 24 on our first National Bank school board. Riverside with just six points here in the second half, and both of those were threes. And the last three has been quite a while ago, about halfway through the third quarter. Yeah, it seems seems a long time ago, of course. You talked about the difference in the depth that Fort Army has. And I know Riverside's played seven, but it seems like it's about the same five or six the whole time. Yeah, I think it's interesting that uh, Lormy kept that 2-2-1 press away until just lately. And there's another steal. Brandaway reverse, followed by Rosengarten. Yeah, nice. A nice hustle there by Rosengarten. Don't take for granted that ball's going to go in. Exactly. Nice steal and a good outlet pass there. Start at that. Lead to 18. 
Shot off the mark by Offlick. It will go out of bounds and stay with Riverside. So just, yeah, just like that, Lormy comes in with two more players, Burning and Mesher. Riverside inbounds it. Shot by Willoughby. Tough shot, and it falls. He averages 14 points a game, and he hasn't really taken that many shots. No, he hasn't. Maybe he hasn't been able to against the Fort Army defense. Burning looking underneath. Nasher to Ratterman. Underneath, great pass to Kemper. Assist Mesher. Yeah, and that's, that's why they shoot 46% from the field right there. You got a good example of why. Work very well together. Reverse layup can't fall. Knight. Oh. There's going to be a, a late foul called. And I think Knight will be shooting too. The referee had a same angle we had. And he called it about the, well, he called it a little bit later than we did. <laughs> you know, and, and he was sometimes, waiting. Uh, so, sometimes the person underneath, you think, why didn't he call? Sometimes they're too close. Right. You can't see it where the outside ref did have a better angle. Yeah, and he waited for the guy inside to call it and it didn't yeah. happen. And, he made the right call. You know, I don't know about you, but most games I'm at, I have a better angle than a lot of the refs. I, got, I can see, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. The refs do a great job. Sometimes we all think we have a better view. But men and stripes do a great job. That's not a job everybody wants. It's not for the glory, that's for sure, or the pay. Rosengard in and out. Riverside trying to hang in, but down by 17. It was 20 to 18 at halftime. Or Larmy the two-point lead, but they've dominated the second half, especially the fourth quarter. Mesher wide open. In. I see Larmy's beating him down the floor now. Riverside is late getting down the transition. Defense isn't there. Talk about the scoring, but there's been a lot of assists by a lot of different players for Fort Army tonight. Yes. Spin move by Willoughby. Gets his own rebound. This time, Ratterman, no. Schoenblom finishes with a layup. That's kind of refreshing not to see one on one basketball. Uh, you see team basketball sharing the ball, unselfish play. They do, they do a nice job. The fourth. Oh. Nice job again. There's exhibit A there. Great ball movement and players cut. Good timing on the cuts. And this is the Fort Larmy team that's only getting better as the season goes on. Yep. Every game they've been getting better, I think, since the Bobkins game, and maybe even before that, but they just ran into a buzzsaw that night. This will be their fifth game in a row that they've won. The first game in that win streak was when they went to Hoosiers Gymnasium oh, yeah. in Indiana. And, uh, Wouldn't that be a thrill? Oh, that's a pretty neat opportunity they had. And uh, I saw a lot of, I didn't, I know WOSN carried it. I think you saw the yeah. replay of yeah, it. Yeah, they, they did it live. And uh, I tell you, I, I'm not a movie buff, but that is my favorite movie. Mine I, too. I, I watch it, you know, a couple times a year anyway. Now, uh, another movie that I really like is Draft Day. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully that comes through for us Browns fans. Yeah. <laughs> Can always hope. We have hope now. Yeah, we did, uh, we did the Ohio Northern John Carroll game at John Carroll Saturday, and I met a guy that was in that movie. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, as the Ohio Northern girls lost in a tough one. Red Hustle has it over bounces. They, they had knocked off the number three seed, the number two seed, and then they lost to the number one seed on yeah. the last second shot. Yeah, three games right on the road, top three teams. And uh, the, uh, John Carroll, who was the number one seed, uh, they played all three of their tournament games at home. And they're in the OAC, you play three tournament games all in one week from Tuesday to Saturday. Yeah, they had a lot of, a lot of travel miles. 
Michelle Duran's team they had a nice season. Yeah. Very young team. Yeah, and we got a, a local product playing for Ohio Northern and Emily Mesher from yes. Marion Local High School. It's a nice job in the post position. Another great ball movement there. In time, this time inside to Grant Albers, and he has fouled. 19 point lead with 256, so it just got away from Riverside. Took a while for to kick in for Fort Army, but when it did, it, they extended the lead quickly. Looks like we're going to get a couple new players into the ball game as Coach Britt will try to get some of his youngsters into the game. Number 50, Colin Moore. Number 52, Caleb Meyer. They take Mesher and Rosengarten spot. Their pro evening probably done, rest up for Anzonio on Friday night. A little slow start for Fort Army, but second half has been, especially a few minutes in the second half from then on. This should, should be a very interesting game Friday night. Anzonio won on a last second shot by Hunter Muir. They have a nice inside player, good three point shooter. Fort Lama try to win their win the sectional here for the fourth straight year. Shot off the mark there by Asbury. Puts up another shot and he is fouled. See, Fort Lama's won four straight, but you go through the years, they've they've captured a lot of sectional titles through the years. Yes, they have. And Coach Hegemeyer and right now Coach Britton and Coach Ratterman, a lot of success. And year after year, just good, solid basketball, fundamental basketball. If they would happen to get through that, they would move on to the UD District Final. Mm -hmm. It was always a great environment. We will have that game if Fort Lauderdale is able to get there. And they go uh, straight from here to the District Final game. Yeah. UD has three final games in, on that Friday night. So. If you want to watch some basketball, that's a good night to go to UD that Friday night. E every year it's that way. Uh, three district final games in one night. Yep. Nate Myers. Nate Meyer will go to the line. 5'11 sophomore. We'll shoot a pair. And they put on a good tournament here, don't they, Dave? Yeah, they do a nice job here. AD down here. Chip Hare does a nice job, and just a great atmosphere. So Evan Holscher and Damon Mesher into the game for Fort Army. Neat atmosphere. Yeah. Speaking of UD, Chip Hare's played some basketball at UD. It's a pretty nice forward that I can recall. Shot off the mark. Battle for the rebound. Riverside comes up with it. Underneath that basket is for right. Hunter Hubble. A senior able to get a basket here and what will be here his last game. Drive to the basket by Moore. That will be kicked out of bounds. It will stay with Fort Larmy as they will now go to 17 and 7. We'll play Anzoni on Friday night. We'll have that game on NK Telco Sports. Substitutions for the Pirates. Have a whole bunch of Riverside Pirates into the lineup. And checking the lineup for Fort Larmy, we have 32 Nate Meyer. We have Evan Holscher, Damon Mesher, 45, Colin Moore, 50, Caleb Meyer, 52. To recognize all these young athletes getting into the ball game. A few of them on the Riverside. Brody Rhodes, a 5'8 freshman, is in the game for them. Number 24, Caden Burke, 6'2 sophomore. Number 5, John Zimberger, a 5'10 sophomore. And that three pointer there by Caleb Meyer for the Redskins. Down to a minute and a half to go. Fort Army with a 20 point lead. 53-23. Rebound there by Colin Moore. To go underneath the Holscher, that's knocked away. 
that will stay with Fort Army. Devin Ratterman, 53 Texas into the Ford game, Army. number Devin Ratterman, a 5'9 sophomore into the game. Score is 53-33, I think I misspoke before, in favor of the Redskins. So we have to begin thinking about the player of the game. And the vote is in. <laughs> if you agree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we'll, as a, as Damon Mesher will go to the line to shoot two, we're going to give it to the senior, Mason Kemper. Did a nice job at, I think he's the leading scorer of the game, or he was for a lot of the game. Had eight points in the first half to really keep Fort Army going as Mesher hits the first. Yeah, I think at the end of the third quarter, he had 11 points. Seven rebounds. So Mason Kemper, nice job this evening. And he was really the offense, uh, offensive are, spark uh, there in the first half. I think he had eight. Redskins. He had eight of their 20. Yeah. And he was four or six in the first half. And you know, you need your points in the first half just like the second half. Yep. He did. He was strong in the second half as well. And definitely a team effort here tonight. For the Fort Army Redskins, as we're under one, as the ball will go to Fort Army. As Caleb Meyer brings up the basketball, the six foot sophomore. He won't be in any hurry to force any shots. Devin Ratterman with the basketball back to Colin Moore. Moore tries to drive. Deegan Meyer in the game, number 43. Caleb Meyer all the way over to Ratterman. The drive to the hole, put one up and travels. Yeah, he went for a ball fake, but his feet moved at the same time. That doesn't work. It's a success, successful night for the Redskins. They win, able, ever, able to get everybody into the ball game. Coach Britt can start preparing for a scrappy Anzonia team on Friday night. Drive to the hole and in there by 24, Caden Burke, a 6'2 sophomore. Down to six seconds. Deegan Meyer will dribble it out. And a victory for the Fort Army Redskins. The final score, 55-35. We'll be back to wrap it up here on NK Toko Sports. Minster Dental Care continues to offer advanced dental technology in a state-of-the-art facility. Our professional team offers experience in general dentistry and orthodontics, including services such as CERA and wireline orthodontics. Board-certified pediatric dentist Dr. Philip Slonkowski ensures our littlest patients have a positive, safe, and a comfortable experience. We are unconditionally committed to excellence in everything we do. The big game is right around the corner. Are you ready for it? Come into Francis Furniture and find the right fit for you and your friends in our Lazy Boy Comfort Studio. With Lazy Boy Premier Sofa and Sectionals, you can custom order a look that's just your style. Choose from hundreds of decorator fabrics or choose genuine leather for its luxurious feel and durability. Come into Francis Furniture today, the area's only Lazy Boy Comfort Studio. At Wilson Health, we're extending care beyond the walls of the hospital with resources designed to keep you in charge of your health. Our independence and connection to the community are unique in a world where big health care strives to act like corporations. Our tools may be the same, but we are different. We're neighbors, friends, and family who truly care about the people who live here. We call it caring without limits, and it's just the beginning of a whole new Wilson Health. Together, we are family, working safely for our loved ones. We are problem solvers who challenge the status quo and drive improvement. We care about our customer relationships. We stay true to our values, caring and respecting one another. We embrace change as we journey through our career. We are Precision Strip, the world's leading processor of rolled steel and aluminum. Precision Strip, doing the exceptional. Brand presence is everything. Is it time to create a video that promotes your business? 
NK Telco has a solution with NKT Productions. NKT Productions can create a national caliber commercial or video specifically to your business needs and demographics. Utilize NK Telco ad insertion and your video is made available to 6,000 plus subscribers in eight local communities on 23 major networks. Take advantage of the overwhelming traffic that video gets. Visit nktelco.net for more information. Our 1,500 square foot showroom and pro shop at bowlerstore.com is stocked with bowling balls, bags, shoes, accessories, and apparel. The pro shop is equipped with two drill presses, measuring devices, and bowling ball maintenance machines to keep your ball rolling great. We offer private lessons for individuals and groups. Moxie's extra pair inside bowlerstore.com is also available to rent for private events. Be sure to check out bowlerstore.com or visit our pro shop in Versailles, Ohio for all your bowling product needs. CarriageWorks has expanded and now can hold up to 25 cars in our service bay. CarriageWorks thrives on customer satisfaction. We accomplish that by providing top-of-the-line technology. CarriageWorks now uses a laser beam system to measure down to the millimeter of factory specs to better service you and get you back on the road. CarriageWorks has a brand new top-of-the-line paint booth that uses waterborne paint. There's no job too big or too small for CarriageWorks. We are certified collision specialists. Come in and see us today. Take your game day party to the next level with a new TV and Sono sound system from Fowler's TV in St. Mary's. A Sono sound system takes all the action into every room of your home and outdoors. Break your home into zones and control the content and level right from your phone or tablet, enabling you to enjoy the game or not with the touch of a finger. Add a security camera system connected to your TV from Fowler's and never leave another friend stuck outside in the cold. Fowler's TV, taking game day to the next level. your truck accessory headquarters. Fort Laramie Redskins advanced to the sectional final with a 55-35 win over Riverside with the final numbers, Mr. Ron Kersey. For the Fort Laramie Redskins, 20 of 49 from the field compared to Riverside's 13 of 38. That 13 of 38 is 34%, where Laramie shot 40%. From the three-point line, five of 17. For the Redskins and four of 17 for Riverside. From the foul line, 10 of 15 for Fort Warmy, five of seven for Riverside. Rebounding battle went to Lormy, 34 to 26. And a big difference in the turnovers. Riverside with 16 turnovers, Fort Warmy with only five. So a very good job for Fort Warmy handling the basketball. The leading scorer for Riverside, Kyle Knight, nine points, seven rebounds. And for Fort Warmy, they got 12 points from Eli Garden, uh, Rosengarten, and three rebounds from him. And also our player of the game, uh, Mason Kemper, 15 points, eight rebounds, three or four from the foul line, six of 10 from the field. So a very good game for him. Fort Army now goes to 17 and seven. They will come back here on Friday night and play Anzonia, who was a winner over Bakken's. And so congratulations, Fort Army. Riverside ends their season, and it took a little bit of a slow start. Ron for Fort Army couldn't get anything to fall, but they picked up the intensity and picked up their defensive pressure, and that paid dividends in the second half. Yeah, they they came out there in the third quarter, and we felt as though there was going to be a run made. And uh, the end of the third quarter and the beginning of the fourth quarter, they slapped on the 2 2 1 press, and that was pretty much the ball game right there. So, congratulations to Coach Britton in the Redskins. Also, we'd like to mention, uh, didn't have the graphic up there, number 40, Mason Kemper, our player of the game, the 6 3 senior, had a great ball game, leads all scorers with 15 points. As you see, Fort Army will advance to the sectional final here at Pickwell on Friday night. We'll cover it on NK Telco Sports. Well, that'll wrap it up from here. First of all, special thanks to Matt Zerker for helping us out with stats tonight here at the Pickwell sectional. Our producer tonight, Bryce Hamrick, 
Assisted by Patrick Toller on camera, Ryan Gosser, Nolan Emerson, Neil Bolheimer. For my partner, Ron Cruzy, I'm Dave Kanapke. Thanks for watching on NK Toko Sports.